In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your very own streaming service in 2023. And if you like this kind of content and you've been looking for it, make sure that you like and subscribe because we're gonna break down all the steps you need to get started for 2023. You'll learn three things. Number one, the four ways to create your own streaming service. Number two, the key features. Number three, which one I would choose. To create a streaming service, there's four main ways. Number one, that's to create a video on demand platform, such as Vimeo, Uscreen, Tuto, those kind of things. VOD stands for video on demand. With a VOD platform like Tuto, this allows a platform to emulate Netflix and be laser focused on making the experience very similar to Netflix or Amazon Prime or something like that. A VOD Lite version, I would say, would be something like Superpass, where it is a platform meant for content creators, so they're going to have different places to access video and other content, but you can also communicate with the community and things like that. Think about it almost like Patreon Lite. It allows you to have a white-labeled version of the platform or the experience that you want with your audience. But there's something that you can actually do before that that is a cheaper option as well, which is a LMS, a learning management system. Now, if you have heard of something like Teachable or Podia, and Podia we use quite a bit with our clients, this allows you to have the basics of what you can do to have video on demand. The last option is having it custom coded yourself. Now, we have created a streaming shell where we've done all of the legwork for you. But what we've seen is a lot of people need to validate their idea and use one of these things like an LMS or a VOD platform instead of having it built for themselves. There's a lot to deal with. If you're going to be going that route, we'll talk about the end of the video, but there are the four options that you can get started. Let's look at the key features of all four options. Number one, an LMS, a learning management software. If we look at Podia, this allows you to have a section where people can sign in to your, your domain, your custom domain, so it will be all white labeled for you. They also, depending on an LMS, just like this one, it allows you to have a lot of different features. The things that I like about Podia would be that I can also have community involved and I can have affiliate marketing already baked into the platform. I can have my email marketing, and I have tons of integrations if I wanna do custom workflows after they sign up using my site. We've done this for our own courses, but tons of our clients use Podia as well. So that's number one. The benefit of an LMS is it's easy to get started and it's relatively cheap to have all of these things. If we look at pricing, you can start for free. It's just, they're just gonna be taking a higher fee, 8%, but once you progress, it will be uh, no transaction fee once you go to the mover, uh, mover plan and you get even more things when you go to Shaker or Earthquaker. So again, it, it's easier to get started and if you're testing out your idea for a streaming service, an LMS might be the best solution for you. Now let's take a look at a VOD platform. We're going to go with Tuto because we use them a lot and we advocate for them and there are a number of reasons why we like this platform. Number one, the pricing structure makes a lot of sense, but also you can have access if you're a developer to core by two Uto. So if you're looking to have a lot of the, the capabilities of having a player streaming and you want to have your own custom platform where you're not building on top of Tuto, you have access to their core features that you can pay for. So again, if you want to still go custom, you can still take a lot of the best things that help them build their own platform, you pay for it, and now you can move it into your own platform and go from there. To bring those features over, you're still going to need to have coding skills or access to a dev team to be able to have your own platform and use core still. It's not a no-code solution. It's still gonna take developing skills to use something like core. Another example of a VOD platform would be Uscreen. I have used Uscreen in the past, and we have seen other clients have used it. it this really is up to you because what Uscreen has, some of the features Toyuto doesn't have and vice versa. So what I would do is really look at the pricing and features section and see what really appeals to you and what you need for that streaming experience. Next, I'm looking at a VOD Lite 
kind of experience. And that would be something like Super Pass. This, again, allows you to create your own experience like something like um, Patreon, but it will be uh, fully customizable to your branding and everything like that. So uh, that is the appeal to a lot of people. But also you can have uh, integrations with your podcast, articles, selling audiobooks or music, um, and you can also, if you want to, have gated movies or shows. You could be doing that all with Superpass. Uh, you can have paid subscriptions, memberships, and depending on what uh, what tier you have, this gives you an option to also have an app. Uscreen and Tuto also allows you to have an app or white labeled version. I would reach out to all of those platforms for the pricing for that. All of them differ, but Again, all three options allow you to do that. Superpass, it's really meant for, I would say that you want to have video on demand, but you're also doing a lot of other things with your brand. That's what Superpass, I believe, would be great for. And the last option, having your own custom streaming platform. We have our own. And in fact, we have a whole PDF guide, how we break down what our deliverables are, what we built and all of those things. We have that available. But I, again, I really think this is the last option uh, because there are, having a v, VOD, it cuts down on having to pay a developer um, to do a lot of custom things and to connect a whole back end where you have to worry about streaming and the bandwidth and all those things before you get to this point. If you still want to pursue this, this service starts at $10,000 for the shell. If you're serious about this and you want this, there's going to be a link down below that you can get the PDF guide of what our streaming platform entails. Remember, it starts at $10,000. And I would say before even getting there, there are tons of other cheaper options to use before this point because I would say validate your idea, build up a community, do all of these things even before you do it custom. You can even start as on an LMS or a VOD before you go custom and see if this is something you wanna invest in. And a lot of times what we see is a lot of people have this great idea. They haven't validated it with paying customers or a paying customer base that allows you to scale. And so when they try to go with a custom solution, they're already in the hole of paying a certain amount. So why not start with a cheaper plan with an LMS or a VOD first and then scale from there. There is a small group that might say, well, I don't wanna deal with the terms of services on other platforms and I want something custom. Then that might be a reason why to code it from scratch. You will still have to, depending on what you're doing when you're plugging it in with your streaming for bandwidth and other things, you still have to look at AWS, Google Cloud Platform, their terms of services when you're using their bandwidth and things like that. But if you want full control, of pricing and everything and you want to build it from the ground up and you want to inquire about our streaming shell that we've already built there's going to be a link down below as well after considering all four different options which one would i choose and the winner is to Uto. the pricing is straightforward i don't have to pay per subscriber and if i want to go or scale up later on i can use their their other services made by Tuyuto to scale it onto my own platform if I if it's necessary for me. To begin with, it starts at 29 euros a month that we have the delivery of 5K minutes per month and then uh, 0.0025 per minute afterwards. So this gives you a lot of leeway, especially if you're beginning. The storage is 900 minutes total and you get full HD, one gig uh, times video, uh, unlimited creators, zero transaction fees, so I don't get charged the more transactions I make. I get like and comment, so I can have a community involved when they're watching the video. Uh, oh, I can have analytics. I can have video quizzes, visual cha channel editor, so I can build the platform or the visuals the way that I want. Uh, and it's almost a plug and play, very similar to if you use Squarespace or, or Softer or Wix. I can integrate with Zapier, and affiliate and third party uh, platform so I can scale from there. I have API documentation and again, I get core and clip using play. That's why I'm looking at it. Now, if I'm looking at essentials, the only difference is if I'm looking at live streaming chat. So if I'm gonna be going into live streaming, I wanna have my own community and I'm live streaming from there, 
I have 360 minutes of doing that per month. I have storage of uh, 3,000 minutes. I can do coupons and gift cards. I can connect my custom domain, have a custom page, and custom CSS and HTML section. The, the thing that I would be looking at right here would be uh, really as I'm scaling up, if I want to have more features such as live streaming, then I'm going to be looking at that. That's going to be 99 uh, per month. So this allows me to get started in scale as my business is growing for my streaming service. If you want to try out to YouTube, there is a link down below to get started, but I would try it out. There's a free trial and uh, we've done videos about to Uto in the past. And that's what I would be choosing if I was going to ma be making a streaming service in 2023 exclusively for a streaming uh, service. If I wanted to have a component of streaming, but I was building a brand, I would do something similar to Superpass. And the reason I would be doing that is if I'm looking for a platform where I can be integrating my podcast and other parts of my brand, then this is a great all-in-one package if I want to do multiple things. If I want to do one thing great, I would go to Tuyuto for video on demand. Now, the question might be, Doc, you have already have your own streaming shell. Why are you not promoting yours as the end all? Why everyone should start there? What I have found over and over again in talking to different ones for the last two years about streaming services, most people do not have the rights to start streaming and they have no clue what it takes to start building a business. So they need to start off small, validate their idea with paying customers and then after listening to their audience, if there's something that one of these platforms are missing, then possibly, possibly build their own. Having your own streaming service and paying someone to have a developer on hand every month that you're paying it on a retainer, you're paying your server costs, the bandwidth and everything, just invest it into a video on demand platform that's not charging you all these other things along with it. And for some people that might say, well, I'm worried about the terms and services of a platform. Believe me, they change depending on which platform you choose. Talk to them on support and go from there. Now, some people might feel like, well, I, I don't think they'll accept me or I'm doing something else. Check it out. Talk to them. But for the vast majority, people do not need to build their own streaming service. Use one of these great video on demand platforms or an LMS or Superpass where it's an all-in-one experience and start building your brand. Worry about getting customers, worry about getting your community and see if they're willing to pay and then move on to what you wanna do. In the comment section down below, which platform would you choose and why? And if you have more questions, make sure that you either get one of my guides for streaming services or if you want a one-on-one -on -one consulting call, I offer limited paid consulting and there's a link down below. If you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.